Welcome back to another season of Rangers Hockey. So glad you're with us. John Giannone sitting in tonight for Sam Rosen as he observes Yom Kippur. Always great to have Joe Micheletti alongside. Joe, to a man, since the Rangers reconvened, if you ask them, how was your summer, every one of them said too yeah. long. They are glad to be back. Yeah, they are, John. And you know, you know, sometimes after you lose in the playoffs or at the end of a regular season, words can sometimes be a little hollow. With this group, it doesn't seem that way. They're still talking about the disappointment of losing in that first round to New Jersey last season and that they've got something to prove. There's a belief with this group that they're good enough to win the Stanley Cup. Uh, they've had a good start to camp so far, but you're right. I mean, this was a group that the, most of these players haven't had this much time off in the past, uh, and they're back, and they, it just has that feel that they've got something to prove. It's been 146 days since the Rangers skated off the ice in New Jersey, bitter after a Game 7 shutout loss. Change was the buzzword after that, and tops among them, the head coach. Peter Laviolette brought in to replace Gerard Gallant. Laviolette has taken three different teams to the Stanley Cup final. He's won the Stanley Cup in Carolina, and his message from minute one, Joe, has been very clear. Well, he, and he can he can give that kind of message, and there's there's belief because of, of his track record. You know, he's won a Stanley Cup, as you mentioned. He's been there a few other times, and so he's he's had an excellent coaching record in the National Hockey League. So he comes in and he wants his team to play a little different style than they played before. And as we heard on the clip right at the top of the show, all those things that he's talked about, we've seen in the first few days of camp. Battling, pace to the game, everyone getting involved. And so, and, and, and the players have taken his message and it's been very positive from their standpoint, the way they've talked and the way they're ready to go. And so with their attitude after losing out in the first round last year, and Peter coming in, he's, a, he's always been a very positive thinking head coach. He's got everybody thinking the same way right now, and they're off to a good start in the first yeah. few days. LaViolette, the third active winning as head coach behind only Lindy Ruff and Paul Maurice. He will be behind the bench tonight for the Rangers, and he'll get an up-close and personal look at right wing Alexi Lafreniere, who turns 22 in October, and it is his time, Joe, according to him and everyone else, yeah. to take that next step. Well, he's he's got enough games in the National Hockey League now. Sometimes age uh, can be a little bit misleading. He and some of those other younger players, as we've referred to him the last few years, are now, you know what, they're, they're aging, they're getting older, and it's not just in years, but it's in experience, and so they know what it's like and what they have to do in the National Hockey League. Now, for, for certainly for Lafreniere, you know, he hasn't had a lot of, of power play time in the early part of his career, and he has proven when he's had stretches that this is a kid that's highly talented. He's not afraid to go to the net. He can score even strength goals. He hasn't played much right wing a little bit last year, but he's getting the opportunity to be a top six player. And as the head coach said this morning, these guys, when you get a chance, show me you deserve to stay there. This is your time. Take it and run with it. This is his time as well. Lafreniere's centerman tonight is the man who ranks third on the Rangers in service to the club behind only Kreider and Zibanejad, and that's Philip Heedle. Amazingly enough, at the age of 24, he has a four-year contract extension, mm -hmm. and he is ready to be even more of a mainstay. It's, it's pretty amazing that he's in his seventh season, starting his seventh season at age 24. And, I, and, I, and when I think of a lot of players, not only on this Ranger team, but in the league, a player that's ready to really break out is Philip Heedle. He had a career season last year in goals, in points, in assists. Uh, he's got a newfound confidence that he was able to establish two years ago in the playoffs. So highly talented. Size, skill, speed, and the shot. And when we talked to him yesterday, and we asked him, what was your, what was your summer like? What'd you work on? He said, I need to be more elusive, so I worked on my skating. I got stronger, and he said, in my shots. He said, I kept working on my shot because he says, I need to score more goals. And so this kid is just ready to have a breakout season in my eyes anyway. So Lafreniere comes into the season expected to be the youngest Ranger on the roster. The second youngest is defenseman Braden Schneider. But Joe, he does not play that way. No, he has right from the day he got into this uh, into the league. There's never been a doubt that he was going to stay. He's never had a time during his career, his early career, where, he, where he's had a stretch where he hasn't played uh, good hockey, or at least poor hockey, to take him out of the lineup. And so with Schneider, you get a little bit of everything. He's, he's so physically fit, he's got good size, and he'll do this when the time is right. He'll, he'll hit with authority, he doesn't take many penalties, and then even in the last year, he, had a he added a little bit more offense 
to his to his game. Finished with five goals and 18 points on the season. Now he's going to play for a coach who wants his defenseman up in the play. He skates well enough and shoots well enough to play that game as well. And he's a kid that since he came in, there's been no question, even at his age, that he was going to be a regular on defense. Man who ranks second among all active goaltenders in games, wins, and shutouts behind Marc-Andre Fleury is Jonathan Quick. He's now a New York Ranger, born in Milford, Connecticut, loved the Rangers growing up, idolized Mike Richter, yep. and now he's Igor Shesterkin's backup. Well, and he's going to the Hall of Fame. Whenever he decides to, to uh, shut it down, this, this guy is a Hall of Famer without, without question. And they've always uh, talked about him of being having the best set of legs of any goaltender in the league. So hard to beat down low. Now, his last couple of years, his numbers haven't been great. But don't uh, mistake that for loss of competitiveness. He still has that. He still wants to succeed. He still wants to win. And you, you combine him with Benoit Allaire here at the Rangers, and that little tweak just might get him back to the place where he needs to be. And for Jonathan Quick, as we talked about, John, what a career he's had to this point.